Hey Taurus, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your monthly reading for March 2020. Some of you are Let's jump right in with each other, Taurus, okay? I'm going to cross for Taurus. Summer Rising Venus sign. Got the window open, you guys. Sorry. What is Taurus preparing themselves for here in March? Ooh. Need to speak about something. Talk about something. Voice your opinion. Okay. You have the throat chakra. That's what you're starting off with. Okay. Two of Pentacles, find balance. <sighs> you have <clears throat> the Death card coming out here. Okay. Okay. You have the Lovers card. Ooh. Third Eye Chakra coming out under find balance. Two of Pentacles. And then you have the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, okay? That's showing, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> Goodness, sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is showing up, okay? The Six of Pentacles under the Death card coming up here. Okay, Taurus. Your third eye chakra card is coming out. I feel like they want you to see through something or see through someone. We're going to see what this is since we're talking about love, okay? I will see you guys on the other side. Let's take a look at the cards. Hey, Taurus. So let's go into these cards. You have the throat chakra. We're going to start with the side here. Throat chakra and um, the lover's card coming in. Gemini energy, okay? Uh, the throat chakra is telling me, okay, um, that you need to say something or voice your opinion or speak your truth, okay? That's what this card is telling me. To a partner, though, this is going to uh, improve your relationships or your connections, okay? You speaking your truth and being vocal. Um, I feel like with a throat shock where they're not saying this is going to be done in some harsh way or abrupt manner, Um I feel like you're just going to really say what's on your heart. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying here. Okay? Really say what what's on your heart and what's on your mind. I don't know why I'm stuttering here. Sorry. <laughs> I always stutter through Taurus readings. Let's see what this is. Okay. You have the seven of cups here. This is your thoughts. It's like speak your mind here, Taurus. Speak your mind to whoever this is. You have a love here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Gemini that is in the mix here, okay? Um, maybe you're confused about how this person is acting. Do they like you? Do they want to be with you? Do, do they want something serious, okay? This may be running through your mind. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm hearing here. There is a sense that you need to make a choice on a lover. And that's what the lover's card is bringing out. Choice. Okay, since that's what it means. Choices. In love. But you have to speak your truth and you need to um, be vocal. So that's why the throat chakra card is coming up for you here in March. They want you to find balance. Here with the two of pentacles. Maybe someone has you running around or you're not very clear about what they want, okay? So much so that you have to go inside of yourself, okay? Um, the third eye chakra here brings out the energy of your psychic abilities or your intuitive inner um, knowingness, okay? I feel like you're trying to find balance because whoever you're dealing with here, um, you may have a hard time speaking with them, communicating with them since the throat chakra is here, okay? Find balance. Let's see what this is talking about. We're going to clarify this once. 
For some reason, this is all about choices. When the Two of Pentacles comes out, okay? You have another two here, the Two of Wands. So you're on the fence with, about someone, okay? Not sure about them. <laughs> I feel like there's a struggle with talking, communication here. That's what it feels like, okay? Faithfulness and affection. You're wondering about that as well. Well, this person is this person faithful? Are they uh, a cheater? Okay. Um, will they be loyal to you? I feel like a partnership is definitely heavy on your mind at this moment. But the death card is coming in. Okay. Death card and the six of pentacles. Woo, you're going to. Okay, some change is about to happen here for you, uh, Taurus, okay? I was going to say Aries, but you have the um, Ace of Wands here. So Aries, um, yeah, I feel like there's an Aries here, Leo or Sagittarius. Energy that is here, maybe Scorpio, since we have the Death card. There's going to be a deep transformation, but I feel like you're going through this transformation. You're going to start speaking up for yourself or speaking your truth, letting people know exactly who, this lover, okay? How you feel in this connection, if you want to deal with someone, if you don't want to deal with them. Um, it doesn't feel like you're giving someone an ultimatum. ultimatum. <laughs> That's what it feels like a little bit, okay? That's what it feels like a little bit. It feels like you don't want to waste your energy. You want balance with the Six of Pentacles that's showing up here, giving and receiving. And this is what you're looking for, a balanced connection, a balanced relationship with someone that you can trust. And this is what you are going towards, okay, in love. This is what you're taking action towards. So you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be uh, bringing up a lot of questions to the people that seem like they want to be interested in you, okay? Um, you're determined, to win over the past here and you're done waiting <laughs> that's what i see here you're done waiting for someone you have the 10 of hearts and it says waiting down here okay you're done waiting for someone you're ready to take action and release all stagnant energy um release people that can't communicate with you properly give you the truth be upfront with you open up okay you're going to start really um, requesting or asking for what you want, okay? That's why the throat chakra is here as well. Let's see how this person feels about you. What is this lover or love interest towards my Taurus here, March 2020? Goodness. All right, we got the five of cups there. How does this lover feel towards Taurus here in March? Seven of Cups coming out again for you, okay? I feel like they're not sure exactly what they want. That's the problem here, okay? You may have someone that's confused about what they want. Or they're not realistic. Um about what they want someone may be a little extreme in the way that they think about partnerships connections relationships you have the will of fortune coming out i'm gonna bring that out and the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles here
to me, it feels like they want a good partnership with you, with the Wheel of Fortune here. They want things to work out and go smoothly, but they may not be realistic in their approach towards love. Seven of, Cup, Seven of Cups makes me feel uh, like this person is fantasizing uh, a relationship and not being realistic about it. Yeah. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in love? Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers. This person is flighty, whoever you're dealing with, okay? Letting go and loving you. Um, resentment, lessons. They're holding on to some prior baggage. That's what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Pentacles. Let's go in a little further. I feel like this person knows that they can have a successful partnership with you, okay? But they're flighty, karmic relationships. Just, okay. That's crazy that fell over this. Mm. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Not showing true feelings. Someone's wearing a mask, gaslighting you, pumping your ego up, shooting arrows at you. Lord, have faith. Love is coming. Okay. But this person has issues. That's what the golden mirror is. Self-absorbed. Narcissist one-sided. That's why the seven of cups, I said something is not realistic or they don't, they're not looking at the relationship in a realistic way here. I feel like they haven't totally let someone go um, in their life here, okay? The other woman, a karmic relationships that they can't let go of, letting go, okay? That's why the snake and karmic relationship is coming up here, okay? I feel like this person, um, this lover or this love interest may have separated from someone, but they're still seeing them in some way. That's what's coming up here. Because I see them with the Wheel of Fortune trying to go through some change, okay? But they have someone, the snake, okay? Um, another person that is still very present in the connection. They haven't totally fell off of this wheel yet. But I see this lover or, or this love interest, whoever you're dealing with here, Taurus, wanting to start something with you, but have, haven't, they haven't fully uh, released themselves, okay, from whatever connection they were dealing with before you, okay? That's what I'm saying. They see you as a potential lover. I feel like they want to work towards a connection with you. That's why you have the Seven of Pentacles, but they're not ready. Um... I feel like they're not ready yet. What are the intentions of this love? Of this lover? <laughs> they want you okay <laughs> you have the lover's card coming up there's, there's a choice to be made as well look you have the seven of pentacles coming back in and the star card they have to do some inner work that's what i'm feeling here with the star card coming out there's some healing that they have to go through themselves but they're looking for a soulmate looking for a new love that's what i'm saying here working towards a new love but i feel like energetically they probably haven't released their past partner fully 
someone's still working on this. Is this person loyal? Will this person be loyal? Nine of Cups. I feel like they're saying you're a dream come true. That's why they see so much potential in you, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles coming out. I feel like that you will enjoy this person that comes in towards you here, Taurus. But you may not be able to keep them around. That's what I'm hearing here, okay? We got the card <laughs> fleeting triggers, okay? And that you're going to eventually need to cut someone out. That's why you have the throw chakra, okay? And the swords coming in, especially the king of swords, that you need to speak your truth or speak up about something. Is this person a player? This Seven of Pentacles does not want to go away here. Um, uh, I will say they definitely have someone else here. Okay, you have the Page of Cups. Or they're entertaining someone else. You have the Justice card coming out. I feel like they may be trying to juggle more than just your relationship. It may be interest in someone else, someone that they were already connected with, um, that they may <clears throat> that they may be trying to still communicate with. That's what I'm seeing here. What message do you have here? Why I'm saying this is a page of cups brings in the energy for me, okay? It's not a serious type of love offer given out. It may be one night stands, just a little flirting, getting together, bunch of messages being sent between you, uh, your partner and this person. Someone's still around, okay? That's what I'm saying here. What does this lover or love interest want to say to Taurus? I feel damaged like I can't do this. You are an angel. Interesting. Our connection still affects me. I feel like this is a past person's connection. Or someone that they were connected with, it still affects them, okay? Our connection still affects me. And that's, okay, choices. Like I said from the beginning of the reading, you're going to have to make choices. You may decide to cut someone out, okay? Um, or express your feelings to this person, how you feel about this connection, okay? Because the King of Swords brings in honesty, okay? And fairness, and we have the Justice card here, <laughs> all right? So <clears throat> I feel like you're definitely going to be voicing your opinion and looking for fairness and balance in the connection. And I feel like if you don't get it, you may be cutting someone out. That's why the King of Swords is here, okay? Interesting reading. Didn't think it would swing that way, but it did. I will pick this reading up for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading tours. I do appreciate all of you, okay? Cross watchers too. Make sure you take care of yourself. See you guys in the next reading. Bye.